Okay, on this video, I'm going to, uh, I'm logged into the Linux server, and I'm going to show you what my expectations will be for you folks to complete your homework assignments. So, this is all text-based, and when you log into the Linux server from home, uh, you'll be able to see exactly what I have up here. Now, let's say an assignment uh, will ask for you to show the directory and to do a list uh, let's look at this first and a list um, of your directory structure all the files and folders within it first and then use the list dash l command how does that compare and then how do those both compare to the directory structure so what I would do initially is click into my um, a notepad you can use notepad plus plus or ps pad any of those are fine and, and probably um, I only I'm only using notepad because I haven't installed notepad plus plus yet so I would say like uh, title of chapter one and just put this this in your particular file just initially just because uh, it helps me understand what's going on so Sean Scott problem one and those are actually hands-on projects and then I would go and do something like this just to differentiate this because you'll see there'll be a lot of text on these so problem one now the first thing we want to do is run the list command ls and hit enter so you see all the stuff that comes up now what I'm gonna do with that is move this around just a little bit get my screen a little bit better and I'm going to go ahead and capture or copy the screen. So I'm just going to use my mouse to grab all of this on the screen to this point and also show my command. I want to make sure that command is shown. You should just be able to hit enter, go back to your uh, problem one, and paste. Okay, that's what that looks like. Now we want to compare uh, that to ls-l list. And that looks like a directory structure, uh, more of the dir command. So we have, uh, when we're looking at this, and we're looking at particular folders and files, we can see that the d means directory, and that the rwx means the user has read, write, and um, execute privileges. The uh, group has execute and read permissions. No, actually that goes back to, let's separate that up. It goes to the first one's directory, the three, read, write, and execute. The owner, let me get that right, has read and execute, or the group has read and execute, and then others have read and execute as well. Okay, tells me who the particular user is, what the file size is in blocks, the date created and what the particular folder name is called. We see the same thing with files um, and um, that's not the point although that's a good explanation and we'll go over the explanation the the point is that this is the assignment the, the question asks for what does it look like to do an ls-l list with the l argument after it I'm going to grab all of this, clear to this point, including the command, hit enter, come back over to my notepad, paste. Okay, that's all I want. Label problem two, separate it out so I can so I can see. And this is a text file. These are very uh, text files are very small, minimally sized. So put all the stuff you need to, all the information you need to, within each one of these particular files and assignments. I'll probably go at this point once I complete all of the questions. I'll probably go to file and then um, save, and then I'll go ahead and put that in my ITS 224, and it's going to be titled. Let's see. ITS 224 Linux Chapter 1 Problems. Okay, so I'll title it that. I'll save it. 
and then um, I'll minimize this, minimize my uh, uh, Linux window, go out to my uh, um, Moodle site. Now I'm going to go to your role, student, the student role. You can't see that's to the right of the screen, so the so the role has changed. And then I'm going to go ahead to introduction to chapter one. Click on Linux. And then as I scroll up, I'm going to browse, go to courses, find my file, wherever that is. That's not it. ITS 24 Linux Chapter 1 Problems. Open it. You can see it's up, uh, you can see it's loaded, and upload the file for submission. Okay, so, um, and then it, it has been submission, submitted. And we can see what the file name was that's been submitted. Okay, so uh, so with that, we'll go back to the our course, and I think that concludes um, how to do the homework, um, copy and paste the text, save the file, and where to submit it. Okay, thank you.